go back to uh, trying to be a beacon for peace in the Middle East like Israel's been for, for many years. Uh, and of course, this is what you mediated. You mediated the Abraham Accords. Uh, and uh, for the first time in a long time, we were all thinking that we could see peace in the Middle East with those normalized relations with Israel. You're just back from Saudi Arabia. What did you hear from the leadership in terms of potentially joining the pact, joining the Abraham Accords despite this war? Yeah, so it was a very interesting time to be over there, and I've been there many times before. Uh, one of the ironies is that uh, as an American Jew, you're safer in Saudi Arabia right now than you are on a college campus like Columbia University. Um, I spoke at the conference. They allowed me to speak freely. And uh, what I sensed there was that there's obviously a very uh, big uh, disgust at what happened uh, with this uh, tremendous terrorist attack uh, perpetrated by Hamas. Uh, the people of Saudi Arabia have a lot of care for the Palestinian civilians, and so they'd like to see, um, you know, Israel accomplish the mission to, um, to, uh, to, to make sure that the Hamas could be eliminated. They're against terrorism in the region in general, and quite frankly, there's still a lot of enthusiasm to try to continue the, the trajectory that was set under the Trump administration and that uh, the Biden administration has embraced to try and bring Israel and Saudi Arabia together to uh, complete the regional uh, security and economic architecture that will enable a lot of the Jews, Muslims, Christians who live in the Middle East to come together, get to know each other, do business together, and most importantly, have aspirations to live a better life. And, you know, one of the things